Number six. One of the hottest temperatures ever recorded on the surface of Earth was 134 degrees Fahrenheit. What is this temperature in Celsius and what is this temperature in Kelvin? All right. So um, first thing is let's work with Celsius. Okay. So I need a formula that relates Celsius to Fahrenheit. And we have one over here, the top one on the right hand side. So we see that the Celsius temperature will be equal to 5 ninths multiplied by the Fahrenheit temperature minus the 32. So this is easy, right? All of this is is a plug-in. So this is 134 minus 32. And the Celsius temperature will now be 5 over 9 times 134 minus 32. So you get a value of about, I don't know, what do we get here? This is about 56 or 57 degrees. Okay, so there's going to be about uh, 57 degrees Celsius, that is. Okay, next one would be to convert that to Kelvin. So now I need a formula that is solved for Kelvin. So I see Kelvin in my second equation over here on the right hand side. So let me write that equation out. This tells us that the Kelvin temperature is equal to the Celsius temperature plus this constant of 273.15. What I then need to do is realize they gave me Fahrenheit, right? So somehow I have to figure out a way to plug Fahrenheit in for Celsius. Basically what that means is I need a formula that's solved for Celsius that is related to Fahrenheit. And it's the same thing as this equation, right? So essentially what I can do is take this and plug it on in for C. And then that'll give me my Kelvin to Fahrenheit relationship. This tells us that it's 5 ninths multiplied then by the Fahrenheit temperature minus 32 then added to this constant of 273.15. And here's the formula. They didn't even need to go through all that work, right? I mean, we found the Celsius temperature, whoops, over here. So we could have just plugged that in if you wanted just to make it faster. In any case, this is going to be 5 ninths. Uh, the Fahrenheit temperature was 134 minus 32. And plus then the 273.15. So Kelvin will work out to be... Uh, that value plus then the 273.15, I'm just using the answer from before, saved. So this is going to be about 330 or so, right? 330. 330 Kelvin. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully it helped. Uh, please remember to subscribe. See you next time.